Okay, let's start a new section uh, of this tutorial series on how to learn how to code with uh, C Sharp, the programming language. And in this new section, I would like to talk about basic arithmetic. Um, as you may have heard, many of us, sometimes before we started learning how to code, we had this irrational fear that uh, learning how to code was about very complicated mathematics and uh, like algorithms sounded like this crazy math thing that felt in unapprehensible, but um, I would I totally totally want to demystify that idea because um, um, you don't have to be a math guru to be able to learn how to code. Absolutely not at all. And you are going to see very soon how actually uh, in computer programming languages, uh, what you're going to find math wise is going to be super super basic arithmetic things like adding, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and sometimes maybe even like a square root that but that's how as, as complicated as, it's, as as it gets basically you don't you don't do complicated calculus differential equations nothing like that absolutely um, and so in this section we're going to take a look at how to do basic arithmetic operations and we're going to take a look at some that are specific or particularly useful within uh, programming languages and computer science because they relate to um, how things are represented numerically by computers. Um, I wanted to open up with pointing out to this link, the C sharp language reference, specifically the section that talks about operators, because um, in computer programming, the symbols that we use to perform mathematical uh, operations are called operators, are actually called arithmetic operation operators, because operators are actually symbols that allow you to operate uh, with uh, different elements. And it doesn't have to be just mathematical operations. There are a lot of other operations that can happen. Like, for example, comparisons, which we will see very soon when we talk about expressions and conditional logic, uh, Boolean logical operations, which we also see um, when we talk about conditional statements, for example, Boolean logical operations are um, making mathematical operations with things that can either be true or false. And bitwise and shift operators that are very, very specific about how numbers are represented in binary form within computer programming, com within, within computers. And I don't think we're going to see any of those, at least at, at the intro level. Maybe we see some of those when we talk about advanced topics. Uh, but I think it's a nice thing to take a look. If you're really interested in learning these things, take a look because it's a very interesting section and you're going to learn a lot of, a lot of different things. Um, so let's start by taking a look at simple arithmetic.